What's up? Swag, everybody. It's Eclipso. Today, I'm going to bring you a guide. Well, people have been asking me a lot, like, yo, how do I snipe properly? Ever, ever since my TSM video, they're like, yo, I don't know what to buy. I don't know what to do, you know, etc. So, I'm going to explain my rule of thumb on how I do this. All right, first things first is, if you don't know what, the, what, what Sniper is, all you have to do is go to my How to Make Millions video with TSM. That will explain everything for you. Also, it will also help you get it set up. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the items. All right. So when you're sitting there, um, now, now the way Sniper works is what, what it's basically doing is scanning the last page of the auction house. And as people post items, if they make any mistakes or don't know what they have, it comes up on that. All right. It comes up right here. So if I was to go here, go to auction. Oh, no. Not there. If I was to go to browse, you notice my hands are here and it's still moving because that's what it's doing right now. It's a scan on the last page. All right, but so what we're going to do here is look. The number one thing you want to look at here is the percent. All right, that is the market value percent. Now, from there, you want to look at the buyout. All right, now I, I let it run for a little bit for maybe about five, ten minutes, let it build up. So I, I had some. Um, uh, something to work with because sometimes things will pop up in five minutes some things you'll wait an hour before things start popping up it just depends on when people are posting it all right so first things first is we're looking for a profit right so my rule of thumb is if it's a hundred gold to a thousand gold I'm trying I'm trying to get ten times my, my profit back all right so you got to look at this, right? So novice robe sells for 1400. I would pay 100 gold for this, right? 6% market value, fair enough. All right? So that I would buy. Now, this t t tremendous t tanker, now I would not buy it, right? Now, if it's if if it's 100,000, I'm trying to get 10 times my profit back. If it's um 1000 to 5000, I'm trying to get 5 times my profit back. If it's five thousand to ten thousand, I'm trying to get three times or three to five times my money back, and or well, three times, yeah, three. I'm happy with three because if it's ten thousand and it sells for thirty, yeah, I'll do that. And if it's above ten, like anywhere from like ten, I would say like fifteen to twenty thousand or above, I'm just trying to get double my money back. All right, and if it's above a hundred, I will settle for like a fifty sixty k um, flip. So. We're just looking at basic numbers, so percents. So when it pops up, so when the item pops up, first thing I'm looking at is the percent, right? Because you got to be quick with this because there's other snipers out there and they will jack your crap, all right? So if this would pop up, I would look at it, go six. First thing that comes to my head is 6%, most likely going to buy it. What's the buyout? 100 gold? Yes, buy, right? Now this is probably not there no more, but we're to buy it. Yep, nope. It could not. So, when an item's gone, so so say someone, you know, snatches the item up from you, and the item's gone. Basically, you are going to. It, it'll pop up. It'll say, "Could not find this item on the AH removing it." Now, if for some reason you feel that nobody could click faster than you, like say you had it posted on there and you were sitting there hovering over the buyout and bam, 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 you clicked on it, right? What happens sometimes is, is two people will click on the same item and it will X each other out. So while you're looking at the percent and you're looking at the number, try to catch like the first word of the name. So like say this one, I would go, you know, eight, nine, 50, all right, it's tremendous, boom. And, and then click it, all right? Another thing is, is you always wanna highlight the first one. The reason why you wanna highlight the first one is because it, like this is 8%. So anything, that pops up below 8%, it will automatically be highlighted, and I won't have to run through here and click it. You know what I mean? Like, I won't have to be like, oh, click, 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 because I'm going to have to click this, I'm going to have to click buyout, and I'm going to have to click confirm once it lets me. See, like, all these are gone. Boom, gone. Buyout. See, I would have to click this and do that. So what that does is since the top one's highlighted already for you, you can automatically click buyout, and so it's two clicks versus um, another person would have to click three. So it's, it, it's just a quicker way to get it and try to beat your competition. Normally, if I'm 
if I'm focusing on sniping, nobody's beating me. Nobody's like basically whatever I want, I'm gonna get. Nobody's gonna click fast to me just because I highlight that first one. There's no way because I just highlight the first one, sit here and just hover like this. Now sometimes things pop up below it, and then you have to click that one. But I'm more worried about the deals above it versus below. If that makes percent, I'm I'm worried of what what what's below 12 percent or whatever percent it is versus the one that's going to pop up above it because I'm going to get more deals anyways. Plus the the super rare items. Like my, I got my special tiger for 20k, right? So, you know, special tiger for 20k is popping up at zero percent market value. Another rule of thumb that I would say guaranteed do, all right, guaranteed. If it's most likely, if it's under five percent, you're buying it. So once you see five percent, who 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 cares what it is? Just buy the dang thing. But every now and then, there's that rare occasion to where you didn't want to buy it. But who cares? The way I look like this is if you paid that amount. Right on Sniper, somebody's gonna pay that exact same amount, and you're gonna buy it back. So you're at least, at, at the very least, gonna break even. All right, very least. So that's pretty much it for sniping. You're just looking now. As you'll sit here, some people try to rig the market with vendor bought items a couple times. Right, like uh, for instance, the the novice robe. The no, no, novice robe. I, if if I remember correctly, I believe you. It either comes from a vendor in Stormwind or Ogremire, or it, it's already on your character when you start. I can't remember wh which one it is, but it's real. It's real easy to obtain, and people will buy them and jack the market up. And then when they cut it in half, it pops up on Sniper, but it's worthless. So so they still make a profit, but you you you're pretty much asked out unless somebody else. You know, you can do the same thing, turn around, flip it, put it right back on, and make your money back off somebody else, right? That's sniping it. Now, um, from there, that's pretty much it for Sniper and, you know, just how I do it and how it works for me and how I've made gold. Now, another, another thing people have been asking me is, is you know, how much gold you got in auctions or, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, right now, I have, I, I, I gave out about, about 100 million gold, yeah. Easily 100 million gold in, uh, in this expansion. Um, and just raw gold, I've gave out about 50 million gold in mounts, etc. in this gold. Now, I, I just give them all out in my stream or, you know, a friend will ask me for help or some stuff like this. Like a, the other day, I gave somebody a, um, I, it was Rush Play. I gave him a Sky Golem and a Vile of Sands because he was just... I was showing him my stockpile, and he was like, yo, I wish you could have one of them. I was like, well, you can. Here, come get it, you know? Like, what's good, man? And he was like, really? And I was like, yeah, what's up, dog? You know what I'm saying? But uh, right now, at this current amount, amount of time, I have, now you'll see it right there, current auction value. I have 95,594,271 uh, gold, zero silver, and 89 copper. So that's what I have in auctions right there. All right, so I have pretty much everything. And then this is... My stockpile at its current moment. So I have, now these are, um, you know, Marauder's Favor, which those are up. So I'm going to sell two of them. Yeah. Sell two of them. Those are down. Sylvanus. So any, anything like um, in this tab sells from anywhere from 5 to 200K, just depending on what we're looking at. You know what I mean? Like these are 50K each, 46K, 60, 40, 40. Well, that, that one was 2K, so I lied. At, at the time, so I lied. Fuck me, right? Um, this is um what twenty sixty four. So there's that one. That, that's like all my rare recipes. These are all vile sands, uh, panthers, sky golems, which what we got swift lovebirds. Those are going up. Those are about seventy right now. I'm not gonna sell them yet. I'm gonna wait about another month and then start hopping them off. I just started getting rid of my minions and grumpus. I did have a bunch of these. But now is the time to get rid of them before Christmas. So I, I've been hopping them off. They're about 200k each. These things, the, the steelbound harnesses, I'm not gonna sell. I'm not gonna sell, sell any of my steelbound harnesses until after Legion, because then the price is just gonna double up. It's just a waste. Now 74k is not that bad, but no, nah, I'm good. And then some random toys or pets. I'm sorry. Uh, fell spreaders. Fell spreaders will go up. So and they're going up drastically now. Just on my server, they went from five to 20k steadily. In the past week so if you ain't got them you might want to get on them before the game's good uh these are what swift spring striders i have 51 of them total no 59 59 of these total uh let me see fell spreaders i got 108 which is that whole tab 
Now, these are all just rare mogs, etc. Bloodlust, Merciless, uh, Merciless, stuff like that, right? Um, what's this? This is Cold Fist. Cold Fist will go up, and they're starting to go up slowly, right? Like, the, the last people that were stockpiling them, besides a select few, are unloading them because all, all the new players are getting it. Probably by next expansion, these things are going to be 20 to 50K each. Because it's a beautiful mount, especially for new players. Like, they're going to come in and see that thing. I don't know if, if anybody remembers whenever they seen the Cold Fist Garland or they were like, oh, my God. Like, it's a legit-looking mount. It's not like a Lovebirds where you're like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to make money. But you can make money off of anything. Um, glorious Leg, blah, 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 etc. So that's pretty much my stockpile and how much gold I have in auctions at this uh, main time. But that's pretty much what I want to do. I just wanted to go over Sniper and all that stuff. Now, another thing is I do want to apologize to everybody that I haven't had been making my videos for like the past month because I've been dealing with a lot of real life issues. But those I've taken care of now. And now I can get back to it, you know, full bore and just come back in and start putting out content for y'all again. Start getting y'all some good gold farms and all that good stuff. So with that being said, I want to say I appreciate all y'all. Thank y'all. I'm, I'm too... A thousand subs right now. I'm going to try to figure out a giveaway since I, I, I just recently reached a thousand subs. I'm pretty sure I'm almost right there. Either 997 or a thousand. One or the other. I haven't checked in a day or two. But I do want to thank y'all for your support. Y'all mean everything to me. Period. Like, I love y'all. Like, 100. Uh, but thank y'all so much. Swag Pimpin' is Pimpin' does. I'm out. Peace. Good luck making gold. And enjoy the sniper.